Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, hi, I am Shani. If you enjoy all things business, money, setting them goals, achieving them goals, saving, then this is the channel for you. Today, I'm sure many of you are at home, you've been at home for a while and it's probably affected your business and your income. I wanna give you some ideas about how you can make money at home. So I'm not gonna do a long intro, we're just gonna get straight into it. Pretty sure these ideas would work for everyone across the board. Like there's, you'll find at least one that you're like into to try and there's no harm in trying them and seeing like how you feel about them. And they're also really affordable, if not free to start up. It is hot in here, the window is open already. We're just going to sweat. Yay. So the first one that I would recommend trying is virtual classes. So this is something that you can definitely do. If you have something that you're good at and it's something that you could teach to someone else, make it available in a virtual form that people can access from the comfort of their home and participate in. I'm sure many of you have seen like the fitness community taking their like fitness classes and now making it available online. So you would essentially like buy a ticket or subscribe and then you have access to a certain amount of videos that they may release showing different forms of exercises. So you can take the same concept and apply it to what you do. You don't have to be in the fitness world to be able to participate in this new money method. So I would recommend, say for example, if you know that you have a form of specialized knowledge and that you could host classes on it, there'll be people that are interested to understand and learn up to the level that you're at, because there'll be people that aren't even educated in that topic at all. If you have some form of specialized knowledge or skill that you're willing to share with other people, then definitely work out how can you make it virtual? Is it something that you can pre-record and then make it accessible when people purchase a ticket? Is it something that you could do live and even answer questions at the same time, but make it a link that people have to, to purchase to be able to become a part of? That is definitely a, a great method that you can try from home. This leads me on to something quite similar, but it's just a bit different from like a virtual online visual vibe and instead it would be to make online digital downloadable courses why did i make that so long downloadable online courses so to create this you might use things like indesign to create a document or even something um, a lot more accessible like powerpoint or even word depending on what your topic is and how visual it needs to be and you can create a document that people can then purchase and download and they would then learn the skill that you've put out into the community. Obviously you can set it at the price that you feel is reasonable for the amount of knowledge that you've provided um, and especially if you've already got a community of people who are interested in the topics that you talk about they're definitely more likely to want to purchase your product if they're going to find out more about what you do or even how to start to get into the industry that you currently work in. At this time while people are at home, many people are exploring new fields, new avenues, new personal interests, and some people are even trying to get into new career paths. So many people are going to be interested to hear about the career that you're currently in, as it may be something that they're interested in exploring themselves. So just make sure that information you're providing to people is not only accurate, but it's very digestible, and it's easy to like follow and be a part of and understand and easy to share with others and like let them recommend their friends and you can recommend people as well to use your product. I know a lot of my personal community are creatives and I know that a lot of freelancers also tend to be people within creative fields and currently the situation that's going on has affected a lot of people within the creative industry but do not fear creatives as our services are still needed. As I just mentioned, there are a lot of people who are now currently starting their own YouTube channels, starting their own business, starting starting their own new venture, and they may need support in certain areas. So this could be things like website building, logo designs, it could be things like YouTube, YouTube intros. <sighs> So if these are like your services, even down to like editing videos, some people love recording and they're not very familiar with editing. So these are things that you could offer as a service to people and make your prices a bit more flexible depending on those who are approaching you. So if you're still doing work for big companies and doing a lot of editing for them, you may have one standard price for them. But for people who are starting their own little businesses, and exploring new areas who may not have like global company money you may have like a slightly different price for those people as well so definitely 
keep your eyes out for people who are like starting up their own channels starting up their own businesses and even if you just outreach and be like hey just to let you know this is a service that i can help offer just let me know if you'd be interested and i'd be more than happy to help because there are definitely people out there who are trying to make this time as productive as possible and i'm sure would need your services with that in mind if a lot of people do need your services also think even though you're offering them that as a service it might be something that you could also follow the previous two steps and make it either like a virtual class or an online course for people to learn the very basics of the creative skill that you do. There are many people that always ask questions about editing, Photoshop, InDesign, that's just to name a few. If that's something that you're really good at, maybe that's something that you could teach to some others. Point number four, we're making money, we're making money. <laughs> Affiliate marketing. Yes. Affiliate marketing, I'm sure this is a word that you have heard thrown around left, right and centre. Influencers are going to be very familiar with this concept. If you are not, now is the time. Sis, what have you been doing? If you have a very engaged audience, you do not even need to be a million follower, followers influencer anyone can involve in affiliate marketing there are some platforms that will require you to have a certain amount of following there are other platforms i believe like um amazon you can you can sign up for their affiliate program on amazon and i don't think you need a certain amount of followers to be a part of that if you have a very engaged community who are always questioning oh my goodness where did you get that top oh my gosh where did you get them sneakers oh my gosh where did you get what camera equipment do you use? If there are people that are regularly asking about the products that you often showcase or promote, affiliate marketing will become your best friend. Essentially, you get provided with a link that when people shop from that link, you get a commission from each of the sales. So if you've already got people that are interested in your products, then they're definitely gonna use the links that you provide, then you're definitely gonna earn a little bit of cash. Now, obviously the more products you sell, the more money you make. And this tends to work for people with larger following because then they can outreach to a wider community. If your community is small but very engaged, then they're likely to shop your links anyway. So do not be afraid to try affiliate marketing because this could become your side hustle or best friend. Similar to affiliate marketing, like within that same sort of like influencer vibe world, why not try and become a promoter? Now, I've had a few emails over the past couple of weeks from brands who are actually looking for people to promote their products, whether it's within um, video chats with friends and stuff like that, and talking about the products that this brand offers. If you're receiving them sort of emails, why not look into it, as this is something that might be great for you, especially if you're one of them people that could sell anything. Like, I think I have literally sold Disney Plus to every single person I know. If you have not got Disney Plus, it's a seven day free trial. It's $5.99 at the moment. It's just a win-win. It's every Disney film, Pixar, Marvel. How can you go? It's like the best $5.99 that I've spent this whole entire time at home. You're welcome. But yes, become a promoter. I'm not, I'm not actually linked with Disney. Let's not get it twisted. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's something else that you need to be doing while you're at home. But if you do have a brand that you already work quite closely with or have a great relationship with, why not outreach them and be like, look, I have an amazing community of people. They're really interested in the products. I would love to promote your products further. There are some brands and, and companies that are new and at a time like this, they really need the support and they really need someone to be their voice. So why not contact them and be like, look, I, I would love to help you. This is how engaged my community are. Like if you're really familiar with Instagram analytics, now's the time to create that together. Almost make yourself your own personal portfolio that could show how engaged your community are, how many swipe ups you tend to get, how many views on stories you tend to get. If you do Instagram video, how many views do you tend to get on those? All of these things are reflecting that your, your overall Instagram engagement and how engaged your community are with your content. And these are things that can really like push you above other people or like help brands see why they need you 
um, to promote their products. So this can be a very great start into something that can also develop further along the line when it comes to working with a brand more regularly. The only thing I would say with promotion is just make sure that you're promoting products that are actually relevant to you and personal to you and things that you've actually tried. Just make sure that all your content is always authentic and your audience know that as well so it helps them connect with what you're trying to showcase. So overall, while we're at home, this is not a time to be sad. We should be seeing this time at home as an opportunity for finding some great new income streams. What's great about these are the ones that I've listed are that it's something that you can continue keeping on as a side hustle once things do get back up and running. So it's not something that you have to completely stop. You've actually just developed a great additional source of income. And now is the time to find the perfect ones for you. And what's also great is you can try ones. And if you don't really like it, you can try a different one. It's just about finding what's great for you. Like if you know that you love being in front of the camera, then obviously the virtual classes and things like that are gonna be great. If you know that that's not really your vibe, but you wanna teach people, the downloadable courses, the affiliate links, all of these things can be great. And not only do they help, better you, it can help better your business, they can help better your content. So it is a win-win at a time like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found it helpful. I hope that you guys stumble across some new income streams that you enjoy participating in and finding new skills. And if you have any other business questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments down below or you can even DM me them on Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to learn more about business, if you want to learn more about money and finance and setting up your first business, then definitely keep watching. Make sure you subscribe because there's going to be many more videos on the way. Thank you for watching.